Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much again for joining me here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's take a look here at Solana, see what's going on. Uh, we're looking at 158 for the current price point, a significant pullback here as a result of Bitcoin retracing. So uh, Solana's held very strong. Uh, there's a solid chance it will continue higher. Uh, we don't want to naively just kind of um, you know expect the price to pull back just because there's a lot of value down here and it gapped up pretty strong. What we want to recommend, of course, is just kind of thinking outside the box here because we're looking at these uh, you know different patterns here. The price could still pull, very well pull back to these lower levels, folks. But again, so far, the only bottom we've seen is 155 and some change. So again, let's look at some liquidation instead of speculating, kind of see what's going on and go from there. But if you're new to the channel, just want to say thanks again for joining. Welcome on board. If you've been watching for a while, thank you even more. We're always hitting that like button, commenting below if you get a chance. Love to hear your thoughts and or just appreciate the insight whatever it is you might feel like you want to add. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Solana, last seven days on the left-hand side here, we can see a lot of liquidation between 161 and 163. That's pretty common. Of course, we see, um, if we zoom out, a little easier to kind of account for it. We can see each one of these bars is about one to one and a half billion. So we're looking at about somewhere in the range of $3 billion in liquidation at 165, upwards of 165. You kind of compile it all together. Uh, if you do look here, though, of course, 154 to 155, as the next area of potential liquidation to the downside. That's basically the late longs here, essentially after the price came all the way as low as 155. So what does that mean for us? Well, it simply implies that there's more inclination for the price to go up than down because there's more resistance, more uh, you know destruction to the upside, right? And market makers really love sweeping those levels. And the main, re main reason why they do that is just because they, they have so much money, they can move the price to where they want it to. Once they get there, they can literally go anywhere they want. They can pump it up further if they see a lot of people FOMOing at the last minute, or they can dump it hard <laughs> and just secure a bunch of profit. So it's a very nasty game, but they play it very well. Um, and the key takeaway here is that we want to look at larger time frames and kind of recommend what's going on or double check a few key factors here. So um, let's go ahead and see where we're at on the daily. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and start with the moving averages and just kind of clarify that we're above all four. Okay, this coin is still very bullish. There's no other way around it. In fact, the 50-day SMA is right there at about 156. The price action pulled back to that level and bounced. Um, now, just so you know, whenever I say that the price bounced off of an SMA, it's not a support level, right? SMAs are kind of ranges to kind of let us know or indicators, kind of give us an indication uh, that the price is going to either maintain above or below that level. It doesn't mean that like, oh, you know, price hits that level, instantly rejects. It's not like a definitive lie in the sand, but it is important to recognize that we're above all four, and that's generally a bullish, more stronger situation. Until we break below any of those moving averages, we can presume the price will go sideways and up, okay? Same thing here with RSI. Over 50 in the RSI is just a good barometer of how successful the coin is. We're on the right side of the tracks. Stochastic, however, is starting to give us the indication that it's starting to lose momentum, starting to pull back. Makes sense, last 24 hours, 48 hours been slightly red. We can see MACD is still converging, however. So a lot of truth here in the sense that this coin is very strong and there's no, no other way around it. We do got to recognize, though, however, this more local high here is potentially a new resistance for us, 164, because, again, that's how high the price action came previously, and it's more likely that the price is going to maybe cup and handle out here. Let's go ahead and make this a little better so you can see. Generally speaking, you'll see something along these lines where the price continues lower and bounces pretty strong. So my, my speculation is we're going to see one more leg up, not just because Elliott Wave is kind of predicting that. But more importantly, just based on recent resistance, potential cup and handle pattern here playing out, uh, it's looking pretty good as far as being a, a kind of a bullish coin. I know it's not what you want to hear because coincidentally we have a short open with Solana. And uh, at this point, I'm just looking to close it at a, at a smaller loss, really, um, based on how strong it's gotten since it broke free from its descending trend. Like right here at 145, it was like looking really pathetic and it just took off. Hasn't looked back, significant amount of volume. We see a lot of volume now, but that's a red candle, and that's a good sign, letting us know there's some selling pressure, finally some profits being taken, but is it too late? Well, let's see. If we look at the four-hour time frame, we can see MACD is diverging, finally. I haven't seen that in a while, but it finally is happening, implying we could very well see the shift in momentum here. We're still over 50 on the RSI, so it's not super monumental. Um, Stochastic still swinging down, money flow next, pulling back. These are all positive signs, minus MACD diverging. We can also see we're above all moving averages, too, Till we break back down below the, the 20 at the very least, we have no reason to consider the price actually is going to continue much lower. Okay, So again, um, only reason why Bit, uh, Solana would pull back is if Bitcoin does. And I, I am s expecting Bitcoin to fail at a fair, uh, 
sorry, speaking is hard, uh, to fill its fair value gap here at about 62,400. Uh, this again, the four hour time frame. we have a F fair value gap on every single time frame for Bitcoin, leading me to believe that we will see a pullback from Solana just based on how strong of a knee jerk reaction we saw when Bitcoin came closer to that 63, lower 63K range. So again, Solana's looking strong, but again, at this point, we saw a significant amount of selling pressure finally, and we, we, might, have, we might actually be in a situation where um, Solana's starting to transition down. But there's nothing here telling us it's going to, right? A lot of this is based on the premise that Bitcoin pulls back, okay? So if Bitcoin does what we expect it to do or want it to do, then that's gonna be the case. We do take a look here at this volume though. If you look, we got a nasty volume candle here where the price action just totally bottomed out and then it continued. So like selling pressure evaporated right there, all right? We're seeing something similar here where we got a significant amount of selling pressure where the buying pressure is probably evaporating will price the price pullback. The reason why I feel that is just because of how high we are, we've been in this range for a while. If we break free from this range, we'll probably see the price continue lower. So if we do get a closure somewhere in the range of 155 or 156 or lower, there's a solid chance we're gonna see it continue to run. But if we do take a look at each mogul cloud, we can confirm that while we're in the cloud and that's not generally a bullish sign, um, this does imply that we're still above support, right? And we've known that for a while. So again, we gotta be able to get the, to the 155, 160, 156 range maintain that level for a little while, and then we're probably more likely to see the price pull back. My speculation is just based on how strong Solana's pulling back based on Bitcoin's minor correction. It leads me to believe Solana is tentatively topped out at this 160s. I don't think we're gonna see much higher than 162 for the moment. Keep in mind, again, a lot of this selling pressure here that we see, it does, it does carry some weight, right? Because once certain market makers uh, can no longer move the price in the direction they want to, they're gonna, jump ship, they're going to join the profit takers and they're gonna pull back. That's what we're seeing here. So again, me expecting Bitcoin to pull back, I think it's a pretty distinct probability we're gonna see Solana continue lower as well. I would think the targets, appropriate targets based on local fibs, here is basically this 0 0.382, 154. I'm rounding up a little bit, that would be a good solid target. And then maybe 151. And then also, of course, tertiary to that, this is a best case scenario, extreme best. Price comes all the way down to 146. That would be a bouncing point there. That would invalidate this Elliott wave if we drop any lower than that. So technically the price would need to bounce somewhere this 0.5 FIB level for 151 to be able to see our next leg out. All right, anyways, those are kind of just the, the, the bare bones here. That's the meat and potatoes, folks. Hope that makes sense. Thank you again so much for uh, you know, watching. Like the video, comment below, deeply appreciate it. We're gonna go ahead and um, see where this takes us here next, but I would just be, be cautiously optimistic. I, I think the likelihood of Solana pulling back is, is high based on Bitcoin pulling back. But if Bitcoin stays and maintains its range, I think Solana's going to take off, and we may not uh, we may not see it see it pull back. All right, so just be ready for that. Thanks so much again for watching. Uh, oh, the summary there is don't short this coin. I guess that's probably the easiest way to understand it. Uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take good care. Bye bye.